So how do I get peak performance out of my woven wire mesh, and what do I need to do to achieve that peak performance? The answer is probably mesh count. I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hi, my name is Sam Badger, and I'm the sales manager for engineered products here at WS Tyler. Woven wire mesh is a versatile material that provides optimal screening, filtering, and protective performance to countless industries. What makes it so widely used is the fact that it allows users to customize virtually every aspect of the weave, creating a tailor-made solution. The mesh count you choose defines the precision, efficiency, and durability of your woven wire. But what exactly is mesh count, and how do you select the right one? WS Tyler has been a prominent woven wire supplier for over 150 years, and is here to help you design the perfect solutions for your applications. So in this video, we'll go over the definition of woven wire mesh count, how mesh count impacts your woven wire, what happens when the wrong mesh count is used, and some of the tips and tricks that'll help you select the right mesh count. Woven wire mesh count is best defined as the number of pore openings in a linear inch, in either the warp or the weft direction. This means that you can control just how coarse or how fine the weave is. And just to clarify, higher mesh counts represents the weaves on the finer side of the spectrum, with lower mesh counts representing coarser weaves. The mesh counts also link to the profile of pore openings, more specifically how large the pore openings are, which ultimately controls the performance of the mesh. Since it controls the size of the opening, mesh count controls both the throughput and filtration capacity your mesh can provide. For example, if you're using a 325 mesh over 100 mesh weave, you'll find that you're able to filter out more particles, but with those finer mesh counts, you'll also find the throughput's not as desirable, and the weave is more susceptible to blinding. I should also note that coarser weaves tend to be more robust than finer weaves. This means in most cases, the higher the mesh count, the less durable the weave. Of course, this is also dependent on the wire diameter. Mesh count's definitely one of the more critical specs for designing the perfect woven wire mesh solution. Failure to pinpoint a suitable mesh count often results in several operational challenges. For example, using a mesh count that's too coarse will allow unwanted particles to pass through the mesh, which could compromise the final product. On the other hand, using a mesh count that's too fine can bottleneck the throughput of your system. This is subsequently accompanied by system backups and a dramatic drop in efficiency. And using too fine a mesh can cause undesirable clogging, which means increased maintenance and Time. In terms of maintaining the integrity of the mesh, it's important to understand mesh count's impact on durability. Using a fine mesh count for more intense applications, for example, can cause accelerated wear, leading to frequent breaks. Selecting the right mesh count starts with knowing the application and the environment. No one woven wire application is the same, so establishing the purpose your mesh will serve will ensure optimal results. You should then turn your attention to the size of the particle you want to pass through the mesh, as well as the particles that you want to filter out. Just remember that the finer the particles being filtered, the larger the mesh count you should use. Once you have this sorted out, you'll want to start thinking flow rate. Knowing that the higher the mesh count, the more restricted the flow rate, you'll need to find a happy medium between filtration capacity and throughput. Also want to consider the desired strength, knowing smaller mesh counts tend to be stronger and more durable, depending on wire diameter. So if such things as extreme temperature variation, longevity or corrosion resistance are a concern, you want to select as small a mesh as your process will allow. Now it's been established that larger mesh counts translate to finer mesh openings and better filtration, but they are known to require more frequent maintenance. And of course, you'll always need to consider your budgetary constraints. More finer mesh counts tend to be more expensive with longer lead times because there's more wires. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form and we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Sam Badger and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.